Good morning all, Nick here from Those Hairy Gamers and we're back at the Humble Bundle Store because it's time for another monthly bundle. Over the last few months we've made a point of doing Let's Plays on as many of the games in these bundles as we possibly can. Last month we managed to do four of the eight games. Um, I really want to try and do all of them. It's just our recording schedule doesn't really allow for that. We all have full-time jobs. We can pretty much only record one day a week. And amongst all our full plays and everything, it does get a bit cluttered. But we are making an effort to try and get through all of these. We had some really cool indie games last month. Uh, not usually what I kind of go for, but I really, really enjoyed myself. Games like Slime Sand and Kingdom New Lands were games I wouldn't pick up by myself, but I'm so glad that I got them in the bundle and had a go at them. It was really good fun. So keen to see what's in the bundle this month. So first of all, the charity that's being supported this month is Watsi. Basically, they just 100% directly fund a medical intervention in East Africa. Pretty straightforward. Um, the cool thing is, on the humble monthly sort of page you get after you uh, view your subscription, they show you a short video about what they do, and they actually show that they managed to fund this young teenager in Africa who has hydrocephalus, which is uh, where you get sort of liquid on your brain. It sounds bloody awful. Um, but thanks to the funding through this month's Humble Bundle, they were able to fully fund surgery he very badly needs, which is really cool. It's nice to see the actual result of what comes out of this. We gotta remember guys, I know we're all gamers, but this is actually what the Humble Bundle is all about. It's great getting cheap games, but if we didn't have these charities, we wouldn't have these bundles in the first place. And then we wouldn't get to have cheap games and have a lot of fun, so it, I think it's important to remember that. First up, we have This Is The Police. Dive into the deep story of corruption, crime and intrigue. Take the role of gritty police chief Jack Boyd and come face to face with the ugly underbelly of Freeburg, a city spiralling the drain. Will Jack reach his retirement with a nice stack of bills or will he end up broken or worse? This is kind of like a resource management game uh, with sort of film noir overtones. The first thing I thought when I saw this is like, oh, it's like a, a city building simulator? No, you get this map of the city and you sort of have these lighted sections where you're, where the cops are, where the crimes are, and you have to tell the, all your police little dudes where to go. You have to manage your cases. You have to manage court proceedings. It just looks awesome. I'm going to have to have a bit of a play around with this to really understand what to deal with. But it seems to have a lot of depth just based on what we can see on the surface. Next up, we have Undertale, a game which really needs no introduction. A lot of you guys should already know about this. Um, if you don't, it's basically an RPG that's riddled with mini games. Um, it's got pixel graphics, visually quite striking, a very cool sort of bit crushy 16-bit style soundtrack. I, I think those are the right words to describe it. Uh, I've watched a lot of other YouTubers play this. I haven't played it myself, so this will be a nice one to pick up. Um, yeah, just kind of like a cutesy little story about how someone gets lost underground and they meet all kinds of weird creatures. I, I guess it's kind of like an Alice in Wonderland. Yeah, not much more to say about it. Very character rich, very story driven. Very keen to give this one a go. Next we have Dirt Rally. Now, the Dirt series of car racing games are err on the side of simulation rather than uh, what I would call a car racer. Basically what I mean by that, it's meant to be ultra realistic. And specifically with the Dirt games, uh, you play rally cars, which is like little hatchbacks going around dirt roads and flying around corners and shit. I've only had a little go of one of the Dirt games. Um, to be honest, this is really more Matt's area of expertise. So I'm going to sit him down and get him to play this one so we can sort of see what's going on. Interestingly, um, thanks to Humble Bundle, I now own three Dirt games because they gave two other ones at various stages. It was, I think it was Dirt 3 and Dirt Showdown. Just randomly they were giving away free codes. I'm like, yeah, I'll take a free code. Why the hell not? Haven't got around to playing them yet, but um, I think now that I've got one in the Humble Bundle, we should really have a look at all three and see what the deal with these games are, because they do sound awesome. Next, we have Inside, Hunted and Alone, a boy finds himself drawn into the center of a dark project. Yes, this is a dystopian future kind of, I guess what you call film noir, uh, 2D but 3D side-scroller where you have to uncover the reality of a, of a secret dark thing where robots are turning people into zombies. I, I don't know. I haven't played it myself. Um, again, watched a lot of other YouTubers play this one and it just looks thoroughly excellent. 
uh, when Matt noticed this was in the Humble Bundle for this month because they, they revealed this one a month in advance, he was like, Nick, Nick, we have to play this. We have to play this. So we will absolutely play this. We'll get Matt to possibly do a full play. We'll see how we can fit that into their schedule. Um, but yeah, it just looks thoroughly, thoroughly excellent. Really striking art style. Really cool sort of 2D puzzle game, kind of reminiscent of the old Odd World games that me and Matt love. So yeah, absolutely pumped for this one. We also have Metrico. Uh, Metrico is a new world living world of infographics driven by your input. All the bar charts, line diagrams, and pie charts react to what the player is doing. One bar diagram may grow every step you walk to the left, while another could decline every jump you make. So, this is a platformer, but you have mathematical functions affecting the way you play the platformer. I don't, I can't formulate words to describe the concept I'm trying to get across to you guys. Just. This looks really cool. It, it's called Metrico, so metric as in something to do with mathematics. Um, I love mathematics. It was one of my favorite subjects in school. I know, nerd alert. Um, and yeah, it's it's such a cool little concept. It's got good reviews and yeah, I'm always happy to try out another indie platformer. So we'll give this one a go and yeah, see how it is. Next we have Gonna. Gonna is a tough as hell procedurally generated 2D platformer with roguelike elements. Now, what roguelike means is enemies move as you move. It refers to a, a game called Rogue back from the 1980s um, that used that kind of mechanic. Um, another basic platformer, very striking kind of art style. It seems to have sort of Mexican luchador kind of art style. Um, particularly things pertaining to, I know in Mexico they have like the Festival of the Dead and that kind of thing. And that seems to be what it's about. Death seems to be a very big theme in this. And that obviously pertains to how you play. You, you die, you go to purgatory, you collect bones and all that kind of cool stuff. Okay, next we have something really cool. This is Kevin Eastman's Underwear, as where is in W-H-E-R-E. And this is a comic. Um, I know Humble Bundle do comics, I didn't know they were going to put one in their monthly bundle. Kevin Eastman, I believe, is an artist slash writer, and he's worked on Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles for IDW comics. I don't know how other people are going to react to this. I know uh, I know some gamers are going to go, Oh, the Humble Bundle monthly's for games. Oh, what are you doing? You're throwing this crap in. But Humble Bundle do a range of stuff apart from games. The art style looks really awesome. Um, really sort of kiddie cartoony. There's some kind of... Godzilla thing going on in the little preview here. I won't show you guys too much because obviously this is an exclusive for people who uh, subscribe to the Humble Bundle monthly. So I, I guess you're not really meant to see any of this, but hey, you know, I'm a nice guy. I'll show you guys some stuff. And yeah, it looks really cool. I love comics and you guys should love comics too. They're awesome. Okay, next we have the Turing test. Now, the first thing I thought when I saw the little preview of this is Portal. Basically, it's a first-person puzzle-solving game with very sort of evil corporation overtones, which is basically Portal in my mind. Upon arrival, a series of puzzles await you, tests which according to the station's AI, Tom, can only be solved by a human. These puzzles have apparently been set by the missing ground crew. But why have they created them, and what are they hiding from? So, yeah, it's you have to pass these tests and, and beat the AI and... Um, yeah, it's portal in space by the sounds, but nothing wrong with that. I'm, I'm not saying, oh, it's unoriginal, so it's crap. No, it sounds awesome. And yes, they've obviously sort of made a nice pun out of the name. Your, your character's called Ava Turing, and you're taking the Turing test. Uh, for those of you who don't know, the Turing test is a test that people can take to prove they're not a computer. That's a real life thing, so they've taken that whole concept one step further, and that's, that's really cool. I like the idea of that. Next up, we have Rude Bear Resurrection. Um, yeah, looks like a cool little indie platformer with a very bizarre mishmash of styles. I, just from the little preview I'm looking at here, I, I don't get it. I don't get it. It just looks like they've thrown a whole heap of cool art styles together and, and look on game, look, platformer, yay. Um, basically, it's called Resurrection because every time your character dies, you you make a little... Uh, corpse on the on the map and you can jump off that corpse to get over obstacles. I mean looks alright, but I can't see how this offers anything to the genre 
I might be wrong. Last month, I made these assumptions about Slime Sand, and that turned out to be awesome. So yeah, going forward with an open mind, I'll give us a go and let you guys know how it is. Last but not least, we have the Humble Original, which is a game you only get from subscribing to the Humble Bundle monthly. And that's A2BE. I have no idea what this is. I have literally no idea what this is. I'm going to have to have a go at this game to actually describe it. But basically, the video that they've included in the Humble Monthly page talks about globalization, about how transport brings us closer together. And that leads to some kind of future where just everyone shares everything. And that's led to this. Um, yeah, I just I can't tell you anything more about this game, to be honest, guys. Um, I do love how they've started with a very basic concept and then built a game around that. I think a lot of games can sort of become unfocused, especially science fiction games, which get sort of a bit too high concept and try to stay too much. This obviously has that simple concept of globalization and they've built a game around that, which is cool. Um, keep your concept simple and that induces creativity. It's the same thing with any kind of creative field like music or visual graphics or anything like that. So that's cool. Keen to have a go at this one and see what the hell it's all about. And that's it for this month's Humble Bundle Monthly. Uh, yeah, another month of cool looking indie games. Bit disappointed there were no sort of big high cost AAA games like uh, a couple of months ago we had Total War Warhammer and uh, One Piece Pirate Warriors 3, which was awesome. Having said that, last month was pretty much the same as this, um, but I loved all the little indie games I got, which is strange, because I usually am not that into indie games. It's just not really my thing. I'm a AAA snob myself, so... Uh, yeah, again, Humble Bundle giving me games I can play on the channel, which I usually wouldn't try, and keeping things fresh, because... Before I started collecting the Humble Bundle stuff, I was just playing all the games I loved and there wasn't much variety on our channel. And this has really offered our channel a lot of originality. Well, I think it has anyway. I don't know about you guys. So stay tuned for some Let's Plays on these games and I'll catch you guys for next month's bundle. See you later.